Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to use script component transformation for generating the sequential numbers in a space package. Script task and script component are two different objects in the exercise toolbox. Script task is in control flow pane, script component is a data flow pane. Script task we are using to read the data from the file and to know the latest data of the file in a particular folder. So we are creating two variables and, uh, and giving the path, um, path in, in values and, and evaluating in expressions all these things we are doing the script task. So when it comes to script component it acts as a source destination or transformation. It can act either source or transformation or destination in, in data flow. Okay. Now in this um, video I want to show script component as a transformation from the um, source file to load the data into the destination table. Here I have one text document called EMP it contains three columns, first name, last name and gender, gen, gen means gender. So Kevin, first name, black, yeah, M is male. So there are three records and three columns. So when it comes to destination table, in sample database, I have a table called EMP table. Currently there is no data. but it contains four columns. In addition to this source document, one more column is there that is called ID. So, why? Because there is no ID in the source document. So, ID 1, ID 2, ID 3 is not there. Now, I want to generate these numbers using script component in the table. How can I do it? So, I am using brush exercise package. Control plan, I am dragging the data flow pane. Double click. My source document is text document. For that, I am using the data flat file as a source. Flat file source. Double click. I am selecting the document. Browse EMP. EMP is my document name. Columns you see without ID, first name, last name, and gen. Okay. No need to man, man manually, map manually. Okay. So, configuration has done successfully. Now, I am dragging the OLEDP destination. admin is the server name sample is my database I am okay with the details I am selecting the default related table is there AMP table mapping so we need to map I have map is gen in source document it is gen in destination column gender nothing but is gender so here there is no need to map for ID in input columns only three columns is there in the output column it is there it's there. four columns so currently we don't have any separate column to map with the destination column id so that we need to prepare in the script uh, script component so i am dragging the script component in between So whenever you open the script component, it will it will ask to select one of the components, either source or destination or transformation, as I said earlier in the beginning. So I am taking this scenario as transformation by default. Field. So 
So, if it is script task, we need to give remember uh, read only member variables, read read variables. So, in our scenario now, no need to give all these things. So, in input and output, in output there are four columns. So, we need to add one more column here to map with the ID in the destination table. So, I am adding one column. I am naming it as row num. So, then it will take 4 byte integer. I am again going to back to script. And if you go and edit the script to write the code, so to open it will take some time. Be patient. The script component uses to read the data row by row, each row from the source document. So it is open now. So whenever you open this uh, this window, there is lot of code and comments are appear. It will get confused, and most of them are irrelevant to us. So I am deleting most of the comments, all these things, irrelevant stuff, to make it very easy to understand. And one more thing here. Earlier in the script component, we selected the transformation. Whenever you select the transformation, pre-execute and post-execute methods, all these things automatically comes in the coding wizard. If you change the destination or source, it will the wizard will be different. So I am deleting all these things, which is not relevant to our demo now. Here, I am declaring one variable. Here, I am calling the row number that we created earlier given the same name so I am using this name whatever you want in naming as per your judgment and as per your choice So I am saving this. Just I am writing the declare the new variable as and giving the value as zero and calling the row uh, user value user variable with row row function and the row number is the same. And for that row number, I am I am giving plus is equal to one. If every time the zero comes to the will come 1 and it will iterate again for 0 till it, it completed 3 records to assign the number. I am closing it and get ok. Now I am connecting the script component to the OLED destination. Double click. Earlier we don't have any number after writing the script code, all these things it will appear the row number. Now I am mapping the row number from input column to the ID in 
और डेस्टिनेशन कॉल आई एम गोइंग टू रन द पैकेज या प्री रिकर्स और लोडेड जीरो इज कमिंग हियर मीन वी गेव इनिशियली वेरिएबल वैल्यू इज एट जीरो दैट्स व्हाई इट विल कम स्टार्ट विद द जीरो नाउ वी विल चेंज दैट इज एज वन एंड रीरन द पैकेज विद इनिशियल वैल्यू इट इज आई एम चेंजिंग द जीरो टू वन Save the package. Hit OK. For that, I'm rotating the table. Now we again rerun the package again. Here. Now, three records and three IDs are generated. One, two, three. So this is how we need to use. We have to use the script component um, for generating the se sequential number by writing the simple code. So, thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.